Let's look at how you manually create plates in visual analysis. Plate elements are commonly used to model things like walls and slabs, and they're used for anything that has two-way action and can stretch and bend. To manually create a plate, the first thing you need to do is go to the Structure Ribbon tab and make sure that Draw Plates is selected. Once you do that, we can go to the Model view, hold down the mouse button and start dragging, and you see the cursor changes to indicate you're drawing a plate. As soon as I let up the mouse and then click, I create Node 1 of the plate. Doing the same, working my way around, I create a plate. A plate can have three or four nodes. So to create a triangular plate, I'll kind of follow the same procedure here. But on the third node where I'm at right now, I'll just double click and create that plate. Once I have a plate created, if I select it, I can go to the project manager and look at the properties shown. In this case, we can look at the thickness of the plate. It's right now set at a quarter of an inch thick. The material being used, which is concrete, and the nodes that are used to create the plate. Other things I can do with a plate once it's created are to select it, use my right mouse button, and split it. So if I wanted to take this single plate and break it up into pieces, I can specify how many parts I'm going to split it in in the local X and the local Y direction. So if I had to switch this to 3 and 3, I should get 9 plates created. So that's a quick way to split up an existing plate. Another thing I can do with a plate is to look at its local coordinates, and these are very important. If I go to the Filter tab and go to Plate Details, I have the option to turn on the local axes. And when I do that, you see I have a green and a red axis drawn in each plate. The green axis is the local Y, the red axis is the local X. Now how are these axes established? If you remember when I drew the plate originally, I started here at the lower left-hand corner and worked my way around counterclockwise. The first node set I draw, which was along the x-axis, will always define the local x-axis of the plate, so it remembers that. When I go counterclockwise, I use the right-hand rule to locate the z-axis of the plate. I'm going to rotate it out of plane a little bit. You see the z-axis is pointing out at us. By the right-hand rule, a counterclockwise rotation would point your thumb right at you, and that will define the local z-axis. Finally, when I cross the local z-axis into the local x-axis, I will get the local y-axis. So that's the definition of the local coordinate system for a plate. A final way we can create a plate is to use the predefined structure types in the create tree. Let's start off with the clean project and show how that's done. When I'm in the model view, if I go to the create key in the project manager, under plates and tanks, I have several predefined types of, of plate meshes. Let's look at one of these. For example, if I wanted to create a circular type disk mesh, I pull that off the project manager create tree and onto the model view. And when I do that, the following dialog pops up. I have the ability then to enter an outer radius and an inner radius, let's say it's solid, the angle of, of rotation, which will do the full circle, and let's use five plates in the M or radial direction, and we'll use 10 plates in the N or circumferential direction, and we'll leave it at concrete in one half an inch thick. When I do that, all those plates are generated. So that's a very quick way to create a predefined plate mesh.